Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Terra Firma in Motion. This is the Terra Firma Craft Pack created by Grimcore, the one and only Grimcore. Check out his series for information on how you can join his public server. We're on his YouTube server. And um, smelting up some iron and black steel. Why? Well, we got long-term goals here. Long-term, right now if we look at all of our automation, the thing that we don't have automated is this stupid crucible. If we want to take stuff and make ingots, we have to use this thing. It's manual, it takes a lot of time. I don't want to use it anymore. So, there is a thing called an induction smelter. If I could spell it right, it would help. It didn't come up in any eye. <laughs> this is an automated crucible. Um, basically, a powered one. Yeah, and it will pour into the ingots and all that kind of stuff. Gonna be great. The things we need for it. Well, obviously, crucible. We know how to make that. Copper, that's a piece of cake. Steel, that's fine. Platinum, we know how to make it. We don't have it yet, but I do know where there's a deposit of platinum. And there's these things called inductors which we do not have and we've never crafted before, so that's something new. And then there's this frequency generator circuit, uh, which takes redstone, nether quartz, redstone repeater, all easy. More like um, some copper wire, and then this circuit board, which takes glue, which we made last time, uh, green dye or malachite powder and paper. So that's all easy, we can make that. Um, so these copper wires and these inductors, which are actually just more copper wires, is the only thing we really need to learn how to make. That comes in a wire draw bench with a wrought iron drop plate or higher. Uh, okay, <laughs> sounds great. Um, and you gotta finish these um, into copper wires. They go through like different stages and they start out as a copper strip, which comes from copper sheets to make four of them. All right, well, copper sheets, we can actually automate those in a rolling machine. Pretty cool. So we need to get the rolling machine for sure. And the other thing is that draw, um, the draw plate, we need an iron or higher. Might as well just go black steel, go all the way. I believe it's just a durability is all that, that changes, but that's why we have a black ceiling get cooking in there. We can make the drop plate, and then the um, the drop bench itself uh, takes wood, lumber, lumber wood, uh, leather, and tongs, which come from the iron. So that's why you see I've got those cooking right now. Let's go and keep melting this iron in here. So we're gonna need a lot of it this episode. All right, so we'll start with the iron, put it in there, make it into tongs. See if we can get this pretty easily here. All right, so we need one of those, one of those, one of those. There we go, we have tongs, okay. And then let's get the um, dark iron and a black steel. Oh no, did it melt? Are you kidding me? It melted, and I didn't have a stupid thing here because I took them all out. Ah, oh, bummer. That was that was sucked. <laughs> okay, maybe we won't make it out of blocks, uh, black steel. We'll make it out of iron after all. Um, can I get steel really quick? I forget how. <laughs> Always forgetting the recipes because there's so many different ways. Um, steel that came from the blast furnace. Pig iron, okay. And pig iron was our, our alloy, but we need 10 iron for that. So yeah, we're not gonna do that, guys. We're just gonna use that. Oops, not, not, no. Nope. Stop, stop, bismuth. Go back, just regular iron. And actually what I can do here, let's leave this here. This is gonna be uh, piping hot in a second. Let's take those out. I always forget when I'm pumping it to make this thing melt that it affects this thing down below and that. Melted my black steel. Ah, <laughs> that's a that's a really big loss. <laughs> Losing a black steel like that. It's a lot of work. All right, you are full, so you can go back in there. I would probably like to have you though. All right, let's get this thing down. Not liquid anymore. Any day. We're up to 15 ingots of iron. That's probably enough for what we're going to do today. So let's stop it there. Come on, cool off. Blow on it. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. <laughs> I need some more coal in there. Alright, alright. She's white. Put that in there. Make a drop plate. Um, bam, bam, bam. All 
All right, got the drop plate. Um, okay, I'm going to take a quick break while I finish off all the rest of this iron, and uh, we'll have a bunch of iron ingots. Um, actually, we might have enough to do what I want while that's going. Yeah, so I need four iron ingots. I need a vanilla Minecraft chest, and there is a recipe for that. Um, you need to take a terra firma chest, which we'll get, yeah, this size. Oops, come on. And surround it with rubber mix. Okay, and this gives you a Minecraft test, and it's very similar to the cheating method we used with the, uh, the DecoCraft stuff to keep stuff from rotting, to keep things warm. This Minecraft chest will do the same thing. So might as well, you should uh, maybe make one of those if you're playing this pack. Easy to make. Uh, let me go ahead and give this a little heat. And then we're going to come over here to the, the sheepies. Uh, the one is still pregnant. Uh, she's due to deliver in a month, I think. Just a couple days. Oh, she's yelling. I wonder if she's, she's <laughs> giving birth right now. Um, yeah, in here I've been processing a lot of their wool. So I've got this wool cloth. Ooh, I need another leather. Is that crafting right now? Yep, cool. Whoa, six in that one. I don't need that much. I don't need three. Okay, so we're processing some of their wool. We're ready to go on that. And let's go back in here into the safety area just in case I don't want a creeper coming over and blowing me up or something. But if we take a vanilla chest, we take four pieces of iron and four wool cloth. Whoops. Just like so. Oh, nope, that's not right. Must be in the corners. There we go. We get a mining pouch. Now, this mining pouch is a 15-slot bag that will hold anything from mining. So when we go out on mining stuff, we can hold all of our, uh, you know, th have rich stuff and poorer stuff and whatever. It's but much better than putting it in a um, in a, in our back on our back. Okay, so that's that. This can actually be upgraded with this uh, pouch expander. And that is just three silk cloth, three iron, and some wood. So maybe we'll do that depending on how much iron we end up with at the end of this. Um, so that's that. Let's go work on our table. We needed a belt, right? Three of those make a belt. All right. We need a ton of lumber and wood. Let's make it out of maple. We got tons of. Okay. So that was the draw table. Let's make this winch here. So that's, uh, oops, one of those in the, where are they? There they are. Ah, misclick. Quarters. There we go. Got the winch. And then we can make the full table now. Yes, we can. All right. So winch, tongs, belt, not iron, <laughs> planks, and lumber. There we go, the wire draw bench. All right, do we have a place to put that? Not really, we don't really need these guys anymore, but I've kind of wasted room there. I could put it there. Oh, we might have room right here. Go array framing table. I don't know how big this is. Is it two blocks, three blocks? Two blocks, okay. Framing table, go back. <laughs> All right, so here's this. Uh, we need to put the draw plate on it. There we go. And then we're just going to get some uh, copper. I'm not sure if you have to have it heated. I assume you have to heat up the copper, but I'm not sure. So we'll we'll try it unheated first and then uh, heat it up if we need to. These, some of these should be ready to be given into ingots. Go ahead and cool them off real quick. Uh, yeah, we might as well make that upgrade slot here. Okay, pouch expander. It is now a tier two, and it holds. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look how big that is. Oh, that was worth it. We can uh, hold everything now. I might make one of the general bags just to, you know, to hold the rest of it. Put that away. Put that away. Okay, that is really cool. Does that go on our back too? Oh, it will not go in the back slot, so I'll have to store it over there. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, we were going to get a copper bar, and again, ah, get get hot, I'm wasting so much coal here, trying to film an episode and do this at the same time, and now you want it, you know I want this uh, automated and electric and all that kind of stuff, 
All right, so we'll go ahead and throw a cold iron ingot or a copper ingot here. I don't think it's going to do anything. I assume it needs to be hot. Yeah, okay. Which means I might want to just move it out here because I'm going to be doing with this a lot of copper. And i got to be careful that this thing doesn't melt, so let's go ahead and put one of theirs there just in case. Yeah, get this, get this all collected. Copper should be quick. Does it say, like... Uh, no, that's not it. Copper wire. Does it say the temperature? Oh, we just need to... Oh, okay. And it's got to be workable because we got to do it in an anvil. But we need to take it out of here and do this with it first. No, that's nuggets. Um, check that recipe again. Oh, on a sheet. Oh, that's what... Oh, yeah. Duh. I'm forgetting a step, guys. I'm so sorry. It's just hot. My bad. <laughs> we need the rolling machine, which means we need eight iron, and we are short. So, guys, take a break until this iron is all out of here, and uh, then we'll come back, make the rolling machine, and make our copper wires, and then we'll go out mining with our new awesome mining pouch. See you in just a little bit. Alrighty, back and ready to make some uh, pistons. Hopefully we have everything. All right, there's our four pistons. Um, there's one other piece to a rolling machine. I forget what it is. It's a chest. Oh, workbench. All right. Of course, I didn't have enough iron for that. That's all right. I mean, enough wood. Can we make it with four different types of woods? <laughs> Let's see. Yes, we can. Sweet. Okay. Were those on the sides of the corners? Didn't remember. Don't care. There we go. Rolling machine. And that is now ready to put somewhere along this wall. Um, I didn't leave myself enough room for more machines. Um, let's just put it here for now. I'll get some power. And we need to take some copper now. Let's take eight. And I believe... If we get to rolling machine here, four will make us plates, two and a flux will make us a double ingot. All right. So that is so nice. We don't have to heat it up. We don't have to um, uh, weld it, all that kind of stuff. We just throw it in here and we're good to go. And look how fast it is, too. <laughs> does take a lot of power. How are we doing there? We, oh, yeah, we should get some, uh, some power source here. For our generator. All right, we've got all four. Oh, got to click on it to make the fourth. All right, and now with the double ingots, we check the rolling machine recipe, and we get two... Copper sheet for two, so it's a one-to-one. -one. Should give us four of these copper sheets. We can turn that into, I think, 16 of the little uh, other guys that we turn into wires. Okay. And that's just by taking the that and that, and we get the copper strips, right? Just making sure that's correct? Yes. Okay, let me just dump a few things here. Go ahead and pump this guy a little bit to melt some more iron. And now we need to heat these all up, don't we? There's no other way. No, this is the only way. We're gonna have to be careful because if we're not, they're gonna melt. We just need to get them workable, so I'll probably put a hold on the iron right now. Oops, I mean, I meant to say put a hold and not pump the thing, and of course I pump it, but these are not uh, warming up. Um, no, not four of them, just one. You don't need to wire them. Okay, all right, we'll get out of there. Do not need to be heated. That is, that's cool. I like that plan. Now I can keep working on the iron then. Need a sandwich. That's not a sandwich. There's my sandwich. Need a little bit of water. 
Okay, let's do this with one. So plans, wire, oh, that's already done. We need two draws here. It does have to be heated? Well, why are they heating up? <laughs> this is making no sense. Do we have a bug or is something wrong here? Oh, okay, this thing was cooling. Oh, okay, something was weird. It was running out of coal, and even though these are in here, they were not heating up. Okay. Whatever. All right, as long as these are not too close to melting, I can probably pump this thing a little bit. All right, let's just get a couple of these. Actually, let's get them all to weldable state, throw them in the uh, the barrel, and then I'll come back and uh, do that. So give me another second to heat these guys up. Obviously, we have to take lots of cuts because otherwise we'd be sitting here all day waiting for stuff to heat up. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got back, guys. I made my first unfinished copper wire. It's a dark red stage one. I'm not sure if it needs to stay hot, but let's go ahead and make another one. I need to find a more efficient way to make these because otherwise I'm gonna be here forever. Uh, that's not quite right, but okay, so it needs two draws, and that seems to be equal a shrink, and an upset, and a two punches, and a hit. Yeah. Oh, nope, we messed up again. There we go. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll try and find a better way, but let's go ahead and take these two wires over to our uh, thing here and put one down there. And then what do we do? We crank it? Yep. We're going to go ahead and pull it through there. Oh, what a wonderful sound, all right? And we, now it's uh, stage two. Put it back. And it lost all its heat, right? Yeah, okay. Doesn't need to be heated. That's good. Cranking around. Oh, that sound is horrible. Put it back. <laughs> I'm gonna do this a lot of times. Wow. I think I need 18 of these. And now we have copper wire. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna have to do that a lot. Let's do one more real quick. Shift right click on the wheel to crank it. <laughs> this is fun. It's like extruding it through the little drop plate. I wonder if I put a black iron drop, pl drop plate on there, it would go faster. Maybe. It's possible. But we'll never know, because we uh, melted our black iron ingot. Um, I need sandwich. Must have sandwich fast. Oh, food's in here now. Bread. That, that, that. Sure. Uh, hit decay on all of them to get rid of decay, or at least most of it anyway. Alright, we're going to make a lot of sandwiches because we're going on an adventure. <laughs> okay, let's make sure all of our uh, things are done cooking here. Are these up to... Oh, man. <laughs> that teaches me uh, to leave stuff in the smelter. That's alright. These will crap back to an ingot. But yeah, they melted. Alright. I'll come and finish this later. For right now, we'll just put these back in ingot form. Okay. You're off. You're put away. Coal, you can go in there. We got our wire. Oh, I want to check one thing. Railcraft used to, like, draw power all the time. I wanted to know if it still does that. No, it does not. Okay, good. <laughs> that is a good thing, because I was like, I was really worried that it would just be drawing power all the time. So that goes on there. We need to go get more water, because we are thirsty. And I think the platinum that we need is just at the other end of the lake. So let's go ahead and sail over there and look for it. After I get a drink here. But I've got my backpack, or my um, barrel that has all my 
ladders and all that kind of stuff in here, so let me grab that quick. That is in this one, maybe? Nope. Oh, I forgot I had, like, pistons over here ready to go. Oh, well, I got those from the barn, right? Yeah. All right, so let's oops, seal that up, put it on the back. Yep, and we're off. Can we leave uh, these here? Those will stay warm. Here's the boat. I don't really need lava. Might as well bring that in case we need water for some reason. I don't know. Always be prepared, Boy Scout. Mono, come on. <laughs> so let's get in the boat. And what time of day is it? It's almost night. It's midday. We should be able to get there. Um, let's check our map. Look at our waypoints. We should have one for... What were we looking for? Plat... Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Platinum! I know there's one here. There it is. Alright, turn that one on. It should be right... Yep, right down there. Okay. I'll head over there, and we'll get our Platinum. And we'll be really close, I think, to having everything we need for the uh, that Crucible. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, this is probably the best mining I've ever had. So, and I was just um, using my uh, Prospector's Pick a long time ago and just came across this Platinum, and so I marked it. I never dug, dug down to see how much there was or what it was. Um, but I came back to it today because we needed it and went right to the, where I had uh, marked it originally. Just dug straight down about 15 blocks and look, it's just right here. It's rich. Oh my goodness, it's just right here. So let's go ahead and vein mine this thing. Do we got our uh, our mining pouch ready to go? All right, here we go. Come on, vein miner. Hit it. Oh, that was kind of weak. <laughs> Gave me three. Um... All right, lot bitness coal. Okay, there's still a very large sample somewhere. Well, that was kind of a bust. Let's check this way real quick. Okay, that's odd. He like hit a bunch. Oh, don't fall on me, please. Don't ruin my torch. I need my torch. Huh? <laughs> it's like. Just three random pieces right there. Maybe it's gonna be a little harder to find than I thought. Just checking all different directions. Very large. Very large. Still very large, so it might just be down more. So guys, I'm gonna look for more of the platinum and I'll be back. Ah, there it is. Eh, nope, there it wasn't. <laughs> there, we got the big one. Okay, nice. Well, this better fit in the mining pouch or I'm going to be kind of upset. Okay, good. Sweet, a whole row already. I'll keep going. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> well, look what was under my deposit of uh, platinum, guys. <laughs> Enough coal to last me for quite a while if I ever do run out of the existing supply that I have. Uh, there's a little bit more. I think we've got enough platinum, wouldn't you say? Yeah? <laughs> Actually completely full. And look, it'll hold uh, coal in there. It will not hold emeralds or quartz. That's okay. Or rocks. That's alright. It's holding what it needs to. Let's see if there's any down here that we may have lost. Oh, that is a that is a long way down. Ooh, we need to see if we can even get back up. <laughs> um, oh, don't... Just flung it like way down there. All right, need a sandwich. I'll meet you back at base. Okay guys, made it back to the house. We are now putting our platinum through the sag mill. We should get a ton of platinum dust. We'll turn that into platinum ingots and into platinum sheets in the rolling machine, I hope. Let's see, if we do that. Right now, I get the platinum dust. Platinum, platinum. Is there a rolling machine for this? Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Into that. 
I think it was just this. Yeah, there we go. Cool, so we get the platinum sheets. We know how to make these. We've got everything for this except for this um, circuit board, which I'll make next time to get everything ready. So I think, guys, next time we will come back. I will have all of our copper wire crafted, all the recipes ready, and we will go first thing with the induction smelter. And then we should be just uh, rolling in the ingots. You know, we can get tons of ingots, whatever we kind of want, really fast. I'm not sure all the details of how this thing works, but we're let's that's that's how it works in this episode, guys, or in this series. We're just gonna craft stuff, put it down, see how it works, figure it out. I'm not using Test World at all. It's just more fun to screw up and watch you guys laugh at me and all that kind of stuff. But if you liked this episode, and I'm sure you did, hit that like button. Want to see more? Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.